Hello, it's me again. I just wanted to share something with you guys. So a while back, I purchased one of these HP Stream Books um, as I just wanted a thin laptop, and I've actually had these before, older generations with uh, relatively poorer specs. Now they're at least kind of decent, although here's Walmart, the Walmart page. So I bought this at Walmart in Fredericksburg for $2.19 or something like that. I don't have the receipt anymore, at least I don't think. But here's a listing. So HP 14 inch full HD PC laptop. Actually, this isn't true. It's actually just a standard definition. 1366 by 768 display, not a full 1920 by 1080. Um, Intel Celeron N4000, four gigabytes of memory. That's probably the worst part of the system. 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. This is not a hard drive, it's actually an EMMC drive. Windows 10, I have the blue one here. And there's the model number. So this laptop's more akin to a Chromebook, if anything, and it, this these specifications actually perform well on a Chromebook. I actually have set up here. This is um, an old kind of PC, not old actually, just a defective unit that I repaired and turned into a Chromebook. Um, it's more like that Lenovo Chromebook, um, but I digress. So basically, I wanted to take this apart to see if I could use the motherboard, since usually these things are just all on like one little circuit board inside of this chassis, and see if I could replace it with this, since this one has more I.O. Um, so, when I was taking this apart, it's actually really simple, although it's not exactly the greatest, since you have to remove um, adhesive strips. So here, these are the feet, and it looks pretty modern when you have them on, but as you take those off, there's eight, eight screws, there's four up top and four on bottom, like that, and with a plastic pick, you flip it over and release all the clips around. When you get to the hinges, though, go back over here and then try to get the pick under the seam and then push like that and then slide it across to get the plastic clips back there off too. So once you did that, you can go ahead and lift up the cover. Let's see if I can try doing this with one hand. Let's see. I think it might have clipped back on when I flipped it over. So there's the cover. And here is the actual inside. So it's like nothing on inside really. You have your entire um, motherboard here. It's like the size of my hand around there. So probably the one thing you can see right away is this. The memory is in a socket. So you can actually upgrade the memory from its 4 gigabytes to 8. So here I have 8. Um, this is a 4 gigabyte stick from the factory. It's in a socket. So we have the actual main board here and the minuscule amount of copper for the heatsink. Like, I guess because this N4020 here, that's what the processor here. Um, that heat sink is really, really small, but I wouldn't expect for it to be this small. But yeah, basically two USB 3, one USB 2.0 port, three and a half millimeter audio jack, full size SD card slot, Kensington lock, Wi Fi card over here. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the, the Wi Fi card. This cable, which kind of completely defeats the purpose of why I wanted to use this thing as a, a single board computer, because technically it is, although probably not anymore at least. So here there's the power cord or input jack that goes to the main board. We have our battery, it looks like three cells. Um, it actually is removable as well. See the socket here, three screws. And it seems to just kind of lift out. So the speaker and the touchpad, but that's besides the point. So the memory is actually upgradable. So you can go ahead and release it here like that. And now you have access to the memory. You remove it. This is a standard DDR4 stick it's from Samsung. And if you look on the other side, it says replace with HP spare. So I doubt um, it's proprietary and I actually confirm that. So over here, I actually have this PNY 8 gigabyte DDR4 laptop uh, sodium stick. I bought this at Best Buy for like, I think it was $34. And this is actually really nice for any laptop that needs more memory, like this one. So you can just go ahead and insert this into the socket, and there you go, you have an upgraded the memory on this laptop. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace the back cover, so it's just not um, touching my desk like that. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over again. So, um, this it's like a very standard laptop. There's me again. So yeah, you just have to put the pick over here between the plastic front panel or like the palm rest part and the bottom shelf and that's how you get the clips off. Just do that all around when you get to this part and then flip it over and do what I said before. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. 
So here's a cool cool trick. So on HP computers, you push escape on startup and it halts it and you have all the options for the hotkeys. So in this case, I'm going to the BIOS setup. It's right here, F10. If I look here, eight gigabytes of memory has been registered. So total memory, eight gigabytes. So I have in, I have in fact indeed upgraded from the advertised amount to double that. And I think this is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit the BIOS uh, here and go ahead and get to Windows 11. That's what I have installed here. To show you task manager. Um, I mean, I was take I was kind of like dumbfounded at first, like wait, it's in the socket. And it's like kind of like a blessing in disguise because this laptop could be very good, but it's held back by the memory on Windows. So since Windows 11, um, I believe, Let's see. It's, well, it's not gonna turn on anytime soon, I don't think. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, it's this supports Windows 11, uh, the TPM chip or module actually, and secure boot and all that. So this does in fact officially support Windows 11. Um, although with its four gigabytes of memory being the bare, like the base requirements, Windows 11 eats up that like quick. You only have about 800 megabytes or so, even less, probably down to 256 megabytes for the user for web browsing, whatever else. And having Edge there too, like it's just a really bloated system. I have debloated Windows 11, as you can see here. It's like basically the bare minimum, as you can see. So basically I have nothing installed. I removed all the bloatware except for Microsoft Edge on the store. But yeah, there you go. So this is a debloated system. I'm going to go ahead and open up Task Manager here. If you go over here to Performance, oh, let's see, Performance, and as you can see, eight gigabytes of memory has been registered. Um, you can use 7.7 .7 because some of it's reserved for, I'm guessing, graphics and all that. So I have about six gigabytes available. So that's actually really nice. So now I have a very usable system. And if you throw Linux on here, well, you have even more memory to yourself. And I think this is really neat. I'm going to go over here. Yep, Intel set on N4020. Ow, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I'm guessing... Okay, I had a brain fart there, but... I guess this is a better model or an older one or something that's different from the... <laughs> Let's see, the listing. So if it opens up here, I think I'm going to log back into Chrome OS. Here, because... So yeah, it says in 4000. So I have no idea what happened there, but basically the cross shop back there and this one of the same computer. But again, that doesn't really matter. Just wanted to show you this. So yeah, there you go. So I can indeed upgrade this or you can upgrade the memory on this easily. So just want to share that with you guys. Hope you find this interesting or helpful. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go put them down in the comments below. If you want to see any Thing else on this laptop just let me know i'll be more than happy to make a video about it thank you and have a good day